Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a master project file where you've got multiple sub projects in one place, where you can edit a sub project from the master file or edit a project from its source file. I'm also going to show you how you can just bring in summary information and have it linked and automatically update in a master file. So two methods. So first of all, I've got this blank file, which I'm just going to call master projects, and then I'll get going, bringing the files in. So master projects, and then just give myself a space. The first one is I'm on the project tab, sub project, and then you just go and navigate to where they're sitting. So I'll go for software implementation comes in. And if I go for another one, sub project, develop strategy, that one. I brought those two in and I'm going to indent those two projects underneath the title. So just indent those. So I'll get a 48 day run on the actual duration of the project. So you can see that there it's gone back in time a little bit, quite a lot actually. So I open up project software implementation. This is the actual project. So any changes I make here will be reflected in the source file. Likewise with this one, any changes I make, so if I change the start date on any of this, for example, it will reflect in the source file. So if I put the start date to today, see what happens there. So that's a short across, and if I just pull that down, so it's all starting today and everything's moved across, and then the whole timeline's come down a bit. You can format the Gantt chart as you can with any Gantt chart, just to show task names, like so. So that's the task names of these two projects. So these two projects sit alone elsewhere where somebody could be working on them. And now you've opened them up in this view and you can manipulate them. If you want to link these two together so they have to follow on, you just basically do this. So project complete, hold my control key down and core teams. Let's say those two are linked. Click the link and then it follows on. Now these are not linked. So if I just do the links here, so that would be four five and six so then they just follow on and this is following on that and these are not linked so if i just go let's go um two ss just get that one going three four five and then this wants to be three ss three start to start seven eight nine and that's going to be um linking to <coughs> 6 and 10, 6 comma 10, so I'll just link all that one up as well. So now this project goes first, it's all driven by that, that milestone, that PO issued. This one's following on because I've got a link there, they're all linked together. So that is one way, and then you can collapse these down, like so. you just got the overarching timeline, and if you double click on these, you can put the bar text on there as well. So if I just put name on that one, so it's going to tell me what that is, and likewise with this one to the right name and then that will be on the end of that to put strategy and then that one to the right name master projects so you've got that on the Gantt chart itself so that is one way of doing it now if I close all this down I'll just get myself a new file actually control n new and I'm going to call this project a and project a and let's have two tasks, task A, task B, indent those two, indent, and let's say these are three and five, and that's linked to that, two. So let's say duration is going over the weekend there, you can see the weekend there. What you can do is, if I get myself another new file, I'll call this master so it's a different way of doing it so you're basically bringing in the summary tasks for each one of these so if i go back to that one you highlight row one do control c to copy and then come back into this file and then go paste special paste link okay before i do that highlight the thing would help paste special paste link Okay, brings it in, indent it across, nine days total, project A, nine days. Go back to the project 
put some different durations in 56 so that's gone to 60 days come back and your timelines pick that up 60 days so you could bring multiple timelines in headline information from a big project or lots of headline information from lots of different projects if you've got both files open and you double click on project a in this master file it just goes into the actual project a file so there's two ways that you can create a master project file one with sub projects where you're bringing the whole project in that was the first one that I did this one where they're all in there and you can edit the information and whatever you do to this will affect the source file and then the other one the last one I did was you're just doing paste special paste link from a headline that is going to update as you change these durations so I put that lower that's coming back down and this will pick it up 12 days 12 days picked it up okay so that's all I want to talk about in this little video hopefully it was is useful for you thank you for your time I'll catch you in the next one